Hi, in this video we're given a set F. It's the set of all ordered pairs of the form A over B comma A minus B. Where A over B is in this set here, this is the set of rational numbers, and A minus B is in the set of integers. And the question is, is this a function? So before we answer that question, let's first recall what it means for F to be a function. So given some sets, let's say given non-empty sets, non-empty sets, and let's just use uh, S and T. We say that F, which is a subset of S cross T, is a function from S to T, is a function, function, from S to T if for each uh, element in S, so for each, for each little s, capital S, there is a unique ordered pair in the Cartesian product. So there is, that's the key, the key is unique. And I'll explain why in a minute, because if it wasn't unique, then you wouldn't really be able to define it. So unique S comma T in this ordered pair here. And as a side note, uh, the notation we use here is F from S to T. That might be the typical function notation you're used to. S is called the domain and T is called the codomain. And basically for each element in the domain, we have to have a unique element in the codomain. For example, you can't have something like f of negative one equals two, f of negative one equals four. That wouldn't work, right? I mean, think about just like basic algebra. When you plug in a number into a function, you get one answer, you don't get two answers. <laughs> that wouldn't make any sense. Uh, and so in other words, it wouldn't be a function because you need to have it defined uniquely. So this is no good. Uh, here we have, again, the same element in the domain and two different elements in the codomain, no good. It needs to be unique. So here, uh, in this particular problem, we have to determine if this is a function. So no, and, and the reason is of the way rational numbers are. Rational numbers are special in the sense that I can do something like this, one over two is equal to three over six. These are the same rational number, yet they look different when you write them down. Um, and notice that in this function, the elements of the codomain are differences. You're basically subtracting the numerator from the denominator. So one minus two is negative one, three minus six is uh, negative three, so you're not gonna get a unique element. So we just have to say that more precisely. So let me just say note, let's just justify it carefully here. The ordered pair one comma two and then one minus two is negative one. This is an element of F, right? So when we, when we have S, our S here is one over two, we get this element in F. At the same time, however, one over two, negative three, you might say, well, that's not an S. Well, yes it is because we can write it like this. One over two is the same thing as three over six. And then this is an element of f, right, because three over six is a rational number. Three minus six is negative three. So this is an element in f. We say, wait a minute, this is the same thing as this. So we've got this in f, we've got this in f. That doesn't work because um, we have, for a single s, we no longer have a unique element in f, right? We have different elements in the codomain. So f is not a function. So we found a value of S, an element in our domain, right? Big S is called the domain, such that we ended up with two different ordered pairs in F. And actually, you know, you, you can create more, right? You can, you can go nuts. You can do one over two, uh, let's get to it in my head, negative five, I believe I did that right. That's the same thing as five tenths negative five, and that's also an F, right? So now look, we've got three. <laughs> so we've got um, uh, three elements 
that are in F and you know they all correspond to the same value of S and they're all different so uniqueness is super violated in this case kind of an interesting problem it really just kind of forces you to think about what it means for F to be a function um, it's just it's a simple problem but uh, hopefully it's giving you some knowledge and you've learned something from this video good luck